Oh, speaking of, uh, there was a great clip of Conor McGregor having a, a bit of banter with you. And the good thing about you, Henry, is you give it, but you 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 take it too. And <laughs> when when and, and the content comes thick and fast, like the the the, the event ends, Conor is obviously posting the video that he's posted. <laughs> I see your reaction <laughs> on your YouTube channel. Uh, when it comes, I, I feel like you and Connor need to do something. I don't know what it is. It's a shame that he's already involved with Michael Chan on the Ultimate Fighter because I feel like you two would have made great uh, coaches. Uh, paso la aquí, cara. Paso la aquí. Yeah, you know what? I could have helped Connor quite a bit. You know, mm. I think he knows that. There's some reason why he respects me. Say hi, Tricky. Say hi. Hello. Who's that? You want to give Daddy Kitty? You want? And you give dad the kitchen. Yeah. And like you said, Sandy, I can give it, but I can also take it. Yeah. Like I'm not, I think people would think, oh, this is going to be crazy. It's like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be around to Rousey and just leave a storm off and not be able to give it to somebody. You know, it's like, no, <laughs> I'm going to take what he has to say and I'm going to watch it. And if it's true, it's true, you know, but you'll see the adjustments according, according to, you know, You'll see, you'll see adjustments, and obviously it, it has been a minute, man. And I, and I hate to say that, but I know how good I've been. I know what I've done, and I'm confident and I'm satisfied with everything that I've done in my career. You know, this is just icing on the cake now. Yeah, this is just time to make a little more money for her too. For sure. And you know, there's a little chip on the shoulder. No, you can't do that. You know, as you know, someone that, as someone that's made a, a comeback after a lengthy layoff, Connor is on the cusp of doing the same thing. How do you think he fares against Michael Chandler? And and obviously he's coming from a, a you know serious leg injury as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I personally I don't even think Connor's ever going to fight again. I think a lot of it's just talk. It's too big. You can go down to 155 pounds, weighing 200 pounds. You think that's going to make you stronger? That's not the way it works. But could I have helped him? Yeah, watch my fight feedbacks and then watch Connor reply to everything that I'm saying because I'm right. It's funny with Connor because like I feel like he's you know the the ultimate fight is starting soon, but we still haven't had an announcement with regards to when his fight with Chandler is supposed to take place. So you don't think he that fight's even gonna take place. You, you don't think Connor's ever coming back. No. Um no, not really. Not really. I think he's made his money. That's another reason why you might you may want to like a guy like Connor McGregor because he doesn't need to come back. And if Connor does come back, it's really it's not even because of desire or the willing of the wanting to win. It's really about ego, mm. you know. And that could go against them, and that could also help them. Like, like even for me, there is a bit of an ego if he wanted to come back. It's a smart ego, though, you know, because I just can't leave shit like this. And I and I probably feel like that's how Connor feels. The only thing, the only difference is, is I performed a lot better than him. And then I'm coming back right away, so I don't lose, so I can gain a little bit of that lost that lost time that I've had. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think, share this with your friends, and if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned, so jump along for the ride.